no single, or two passenger cars on the Williamsburg Bridge during the morning or afternoon rush. A new ferry route extra turnstiles in some Brooklyn subway stations. The packed lanes of 14th Street in Manhattan given over solely to buses. Twice as many bicyclists whizzing over the East River from Brooklyn. Welcome to the L train shutdown. The first details of the sweeping and complex workaround for the April 2019 closing of part of the L train line were released on Wednesday by the agencies tasked with remapping the daily human migration during the temporary absence of one of New York City's busiest lines. It was the most comprehensive look so far at plans to reroute more than 400,000 daily riders affected by the 15-month closing of the line's tunnel beneath the East River, which is in desperate need of repair after flooding during Hurricane Sandy. The L line has helped fuel some of New York City's fastest-growing neighborhoods like Bushwick, Greenpoint and Williamsburg in Brooklyn. It will be closed from the Bedford Avenue stop in Brooklyn to its terminus on 8th Avenue in Manhattan. The New York City Department of Transportation and the Metropolitan Transportation Authority jointly released the preliminary plans for coping with the disruption. They were frank, rerouting the 225,000 people who take the train beneath the East River each day, the 50,000 who use it just to travel across Manhattan, and everybody else who rides the line will not be easy. New Yorkers will face major disruption, with an impact including increased ridership on alternative routes that will be felt far beyond the immediate corridors now served by the train, the agencies wrote in a release detailing new bus lanes, bike lanes, street and bridge traffic patterns, ferry schedules and bus routes that the workaround will entail. It will reach into central Brooklyn, up and down the East River waterfront and cross town in Manhattan. 80% of the L train's burden is expected to shift to alternative subway lines, said Veronique Hackham, the managing director of the Transportation Authority. To accommodate passengers, trains will be beefed up on the J, M, Z and G, with free metro card transfers between the lines at certain junctures. More trains will run on those lines, and on the C and G tracks, trains will also have extra cars. New stairs and turnstiles will be added at a number of stations. The plans represent a major challenge for the city, eclipsed in scope in recent history perhaps only by the transportation challenges following the September 11, 2001 terrorist attack and immediately after Sandy. They are the result of more than a year of research, which included community input, and were to be presented to the city council in a hearing on Thursday. The final version will require more community feedback. What we are doing is recommending a series of service plans that try to serve as many of those customers in as elegant a way as possible, Ms. Hakim said. Buses are expected to accommodate 15% of displaced L train riders. During peak hours, the entire Williamsburg Bridge will be open only to vehicles carrying three or more people, emergency vehicles, and trucks a designation known as HOV-3.